All right, welcome to today's meditation on strength. We are choosing um, a different theme of the day. So Monday, yesterday was gratitude, and today is on strength. So if there's moments where you feel you need a little, then meditate on it and spend some time thinking on it or go for a run and, and think about it while you're running. Lots of ways to get more strength in our day. So. We're going to go through just that one uh, focus today on our 10 minute meditation on just tapping into that inner strength that we all have, even uh, times when we don't feel we have it, it's there. So meditation can help us tap into that a little bit easier. And that's what we're going to do today. So as people are starting to sign on, I'm going to I uh, encourage you to find your spot that's good for you for meditation. So wherever your space is, go ahead and start to get comfortable. We're, we're going to start in just about a minute, but we can get comfortable while we're waiting. Again, just find, find your place. So we probably all have a meditation spot by now that we are going to that's comfortable, that's... Um, Relaxing, almost just by going there, it's become that place. All right, so let's go, let's get started. So today is all about strength. And when you have those days or those mornings, uh, you wake up and you just feel like, oh, or you feel like, oh, this is gonna be a day, you know, all those things, we get those feelings from time to time. And those are when we need to meditate the most because it'll get us out of that funk. And those funks are easy to slowly slip into. Um, I've done it many times where I, I, you know, I go a day or two and then it's three or four. Then I realize it, you know, that it's getting a little darker for me and I'm like, what's going on? What, what, what's wrong? And I realize I've gotten out of my self-care routine and taking care of ourselves is so, so, so important. So. We're going to do that today. We're going to learn about ways that we can get out of that funk if we're in it. And if we're not, just even accelerate more today. So let's get our spots. Let's get comfortable. Let's start to breathe just a little bit slower than normal. And let's close our eyes. And just inhale in and out. Again, just a little bit slower than normal. And just by letting our breath slow down, our brain is triggered into its meditation time. So Eyes closed, body's comfortable. Let's just start to sink into it and really just let our exhales drop us more and more into a relaxed state. Feel your body just give way to whatever's supporting it. Just scanning, starting with our foreheads down to our toes, nice and slow as you breathe, just mindfully checking in anywhere you might be holding some stress or tension. And as we scan our way down, just let it go. We could do that by just alleviating our tension in our shoulders by letting our shoulders drop. Hips and legs, elbows, fingers and toes, everything we can just mentally go through and just relax.
And today we're meditating on strength. And we've done this before in this series that we're doing, but we're going to tap back into that again today. So while our physical bodies are relaxed and becoming more relaxed and our physicalness, all of the organs in our body are just starting to work more efficiently under less stress, everything's going great. So healing for our bodies. Let's do some healing for our minds. And let's think of a time when we felt just absolutely strong or powerful or unstoppable. What was that moment like for you? If there's one or if there's many, what were those moments like for you? And as you inhale in, envision those periods of our life no matter how recent or how long ago they were, just breathe in the energy of those moments and then as you exhale, just relax. And as you inhale these moments and make them vivid, pay attention to everything that makes up these moments. Exhale, just relaxing down, letting go of all of that air just to breathe in more energetic breaths filled with images of strength. Now let's summarize wherever we're at with one word. What word would best describe this moment in time? And as you're breathing in the realness of these moments of strength, pick a word and just breathe that word in with it because that word has energy, that word has strength itself. And then we'll put the words, I am in front of that word as we start to mentally leave this memory and this time, but keep breathing in that word, but let's put the words, I am in front of it and breathe in big breaths. I am whatever your word is and then exhale out. I am.
And just know we can tap back into this energy at any time today by just taking a couple of slow breaths, remind ourselves that we are whatever word we need. And it'll trigger us back into this moment. And when you're ready, go ahead and open up your eyes. That was today's meditation on strength and want to share a couple things with you. Yesterday we talked about gratitude and I talked about the butterfly effect. And then I listened to Kirsten's um, inspiration call um, later in the day and I couldn't listen to the whole thing, but I just tapped in and she was reading about butterflies out of a book. And I thought that was fantastic, you know, coincidence. Well, this morning, there's several different people who drop off food to my front porch. And then when I get it and I get enough of it, I bring it to the homeless shelters. So I'm not always sure who's bringing what food, uh, but someone dropped a bag off today and it was a reusable bag, but it wasn't like from Wegmans or anything. It was a reusable bag. It had butterflies all over the bag as part of the design. So I thought that was just pretty cool. A lot of different, um, a lot of different things lining up yesterday, which was really neat. And that's what you, you know, when you start to focus on positivity or gratitude, you start to find out more things that surround you that are to be grateful for. And I think if I didn't do that yesterday, I would have looked at that bag of food and been like, oh, that's nice. Someone's going to get food. But no, there was butterflies on that bag. And as silly as that might sound, there was a reason there was butterflies on that bag. So today's meditation on strength Remember, when we are in stressful times, we always tap back into past stressful times. It's just part of what our, how our brain works. So there's no reason we can't do that to get out of these stressful times, to get into a more strength mindset, a more growth mindset, by meditating on past memories of strength and gratitude and positivity. But on days when we're feeling kind of low and we're feeling kind of lethargic, Meditate on energy and see how your day goes. Because just by our brains hearing, I am strong over and over in today's meditation, our brain, we might not feel it, but remember what our brains think about, our bodies follow about. So there's power in that and there's strength in that. And we can all have a stronger day for it. And again, not changing anything that's going on outside in our world. It's just changing our reaction to it. And not just that, but watch how it changes our reaction to everything where almost we can start getting into things throughout our day where we're doing them kind of mindfully and meditatively and not even realizing it. There's no reason we can't be saying, I am strong all day today. And no one's gonna know but us. But there, just watch what happens from doing that. It gets us out of that cycle of I'm worried, I'm fearful, I'm anxious. And there's nothing wrong with feeling those. They're, they, they, they're, with the times, you, we should be feeling that at some times, but not all the times. Again, let's, when we're feeling those feelings, let's try to visit there and not live there. And do what we need to do to be safe, to be well. But remember that through taking our, giving ourselves a break. One more thing about strength. If you think about strength this way, we all know people who work out seven days a week and who go at it like crazy. And, and that's not always the best thing to do. We need rest. We need at least a rest day in there for someone because our bodies, when we exercise, our bodies are under stress and that's good. Our muscles are under stress. Our heart's under stress. Our lungs are under stress. That's good, positive stress. So we should be going there most days of the week, but we shouldn't stay there too, you know, it's too, too long because our bodies need rest. Same thing with mental stress. If we're under mental stress about everything that's going on or just day-to-day -day issues, we need breaks from that too. We can't handle that stress and pressure for too long because we're not meant to live in that state. We're meant to be there to survive, but not to live in. So we can, it's not, too, it's not too easy to stay in there too long, but we can, and we start to see the effects of that. The analogy that I, um, no offense to any frogs out there or any living animal, but if you ever, it's called the burning or the boiling frog story. If you had a pot of water that you just poured cold water or even warm water in a, in a boiling pot and you put it on your stove 
If you didn't turn the heat on and you put a frog in there, the frog would probably stay because the water is lukewarm. But if you had that water scalding hot where it's boiling and you put a frog in there, that frog's gonna instantly jump out because it's so hot and he knows it'll kill him or her. But if you put that frog into water and you slowly start turning the heat up and that stress of that heat is slowly, slowly growing, that frog's probably not gonna jump out. Like, oh, this is getting kind of hot. Oh, it's getting a little hotter, but I can handle this. Oh, it's getting even hotter now, but I can still handle this. It's not horrible, but it's getting there and then it gets a little hotter. Now, because of all of the stress that this frog's been thinking about, oh, it's getting hotter, it's getting hotter, his energy's gone to get out of it when it gets boiling. So when that water hits the boiling part point, that frog's done for because it doesn't have the energy to get out because it spends too much time getting used to its environment of stress. And I think that's what we do too. We can find ourselves being, I can get through this tomorrow. I'll, I'll do something tomorrow, but today it's kind of stressful. There's a lot going on. There's all this in the news. I can't leave my home. I can't see this. And I, you know, things are sucky. It's not great, but I could do this another day and not really deal with it. Or I can do, you know, learn to live with this feeling of not being super happy, but not being horribly upset. And then each day that stress builds and builds and builds. Now we find ourselves very anxious and very depressed and very unhappy because we didn't turn, we didn't get out of the water in time. We let ourselves become too comfortable in a stressful situation. So if that makes any sense to you, I don't know, but I use that analogy in my head a lot that I got to always keep a mindful of what that water temperature is so I can get out instead of staying in there too long before it does me some damage. So with all that blathering, I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, we'll catch you all again tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow's at 1030, not 11. It'll be recorded, so you can come and watch it at 11. But I'll be live at 1030 tomorrow. Thank you, everybody, and have a great day. Holly, you're welcome. Peter, thank you. I'm glad you liked it.